If you're driving a car, uh, you could apply a forward force by stepping on the gas pedal. That would be the way to speed up. You could step on the brakes if you wanted to slow down. That applies a reverse force. And if you wanted to change direction, you could turn the steering wheel, which applies a sideways force. Another word to describe change in velocity is acceleration. So in physics, we say that a force will always cause an object to accelerate. So let's look at some examples. Here is a textbook, and I'm going to go ahead and just put my palm out flat and hold it like this. So first question, is this textbook accelerating? Well, I think it's pretty clear that its velocity is not changing, therefore it can't be accelerating. So does that mean there's no force acting on it? Well, think about it. There has to be some force acting on this book, right? So what force is that? Can you think of at least one force? And most people are pretty quick to say that the Earth's gravitational pull is pulling down on this book. So the force of gravity should be acting on it. And that's right. Then why is it not accelerating if there's a force acting on it? Well, that's because there's a second force acting on this book. What is the force that's preventing this book from falling? Because if it was just gravity, it would accelerate downward. Well, that force is the force of my hand pushing back up on the textbook. When a surface holds an object up, we call that the normal force, N-O-R-M-A-L. And the reason we call it a normal force is because it is normal or perpendicular 90 degrees from the surface.